is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Wow, Leo's overall energy, bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups in reverse. Okay, so I feel that there has been a breakup, a separation, a divorce, a fallout between two people. Okay. You guys are not seeing eye to eye, but this was definitely a soulmate connection, okay, if you believe in stuff like that. So in the past year, with the fall of sorts in reverse here, I feel that you could have come out of isolation if you guys were not talking. There could have been dead silence between you guys. But someone came out of isolation and wanted to talk. Or this is just you probably being very, very restless about a, a past situation, okay, thinking about a situation over and over and over again, okay. Coming to the current moment, we have the star here. So yeah, with the star here, I feel that someone has a lot of la a lot of hope and faith in this connection. Okay, someone could have been waiting for the divine timing. This is this is a very very divine connection. Okay, for sure. But what is challenging the situation is the strength in reverse here. Okay, so someone needs to stop holding back. Okay, I'm feeling that there's someone here who's putting in all their strength and courage to hold back from the situation, and they're pulling back. Okay, they're not giving into the situation, and that's the challenge. Here. Someone needs to let go of control issues. Okay, there's someone here who's trying to control the outcome, and they need to let it go. Okay, they need to trust divine timing. They need to trust the situation and have faith. Okay, that things will work out at the right time okay it's not going to work out at the leo time it's going to work out at divine time okay on your mind leo is the six of wands in reverse okay so something's not moving forward there's a lack of forward movement here or this is just someone who's just being very very egoistic and this is someone who's just wanting to come in and get attention okay they're trying to feed their ego by getting attention but something was a failure okay on your mind there's a relationship that didn't quite go well as you planned what you don't see coming or the reason for the reading is the king of swords here, okay? So, yes, yeah, someone's definitely being very cold, icy, and detached towards you. This is, uh, but I'm not getting a bad energy, okay? The king of swords is an upright, okay? So, I feel that this is someone who's using their logic instead of their emotions, okay? The king of swords is a very logical man, okay? He's very, very, uh, he's very rational. He uses his mind and he try he most of not most of the time, he usually leaves his emotions mm -hmm. away, okay? He only tries to operate from his logic and facts, okay? He's a very factual person. In the near future, with the moon in reverse here, I feel that you're going to get clarity about something, okay? If someone is holding back, I think this is, this is a revelation of something, okay? I'm feeling that if someone's holding back their emotions, uh, then someone's going to, a secret is going to be revealed, okay? Something's going to come out in the open. This is, or this could just be someone who's releasing something. I'm feeling that there's going to be some truth that is going to be revealed here, okay? Because with the King of Swords here as the root of the issue, we see that there's some good, truthful communication coming in, all right? What you're doing is the King of Pentacles here. So you're probably focused on your work. You're focused on uh, your pentacle. You're focused on your career. And you're just very, very reliable, okay? And that's how people see you. Very reliable and um, very giving. This is a boss. This is a leader. This is the bread owner of the family. And this is someone who's offering a lot of stability, security, and growth, okay, in a relationship. If this is uh, not you focusing on yourself, then you are wanting to come in and offer stability and a commitment to someone okay mm -hmm. what's going on in your environment is <coughs> excuse me it's the seven of swords in reverse here so you could be dealing with someone who's very sneaky and deceptive but uh sneaky and deceptive always does not have to be someone who's a cheater and a liar but when i feel deception is someone who probably you know was is holding back their emotions the seven of swords yes it is someone who usually operates from like that okay they they usually withhold a lot of information okay and i think with the seven of swords in reverse here this person's feeling guilty and they're if they were trying to ignore and avoid your connection or if they're trying to avoid and this was this is, i'm feeling more self-denial okay if there was someone who was in self-denial of this connection i think they're coming back okay they're coming back and the, that's the secret that's going to be revealed here with the moon in reverse here okay could be revealed that this person has a lot of deep emotions for you, but they have a lot of fear of the unknown, okay? Could be fear from a past relationship that they had. Or it's, it's just a deep-seated belief, okay, that 
they don't want to be vulnerable okay they just don't know what's out there they don't know what's going to happen next this person could be someone who likes to know everything okay before they get into a relationship or this is just someone who likes to know things okay and they don't like to jump in head first okay so yeah in your emotions with the full year you want a brand new beginning okay you want to start from ground zero all right you want a brand new beginning you want to take a leap of faith with this person okay and with the nine of wands here as the likely outcome I feel that yes, I do feel that um, this is uh, you being extremely guarded towards this person. Okay, you are very guarded. You have trust issues with this person, but it's almost like you're ready to give this one last shot. Okay, the nine of wands. Yes, it is being guarded. Your walls are very high up, but along with that, this is perseverance. Okay, so this is someone who's ready to give this one last shot. Okay, like okay, I've come along, and this has been a very in and out relationship. It's been there for a very long time, but I'm ready to give. This one last chance, okay. Clap at the strength and reverse. Why is the strength and reverse here? Why is the strength and reverse here? We have the four of pentacles in reverse, the six of wands. So yeah, so someone is ready to release something and move forward with you with the four of pentacles. Yeah, again, this person could be extremely stubborn. Okay, so this person probably because they're very stubborn, they were holding back from you. But you probably had a lot of hope in this connection. Okay, you had hope that things will happen at the right time. Okay, so that's what's challenging it. But I'm I'm seeing that this person is definitely releasing their ego. If they're holding back communication, if they were in a state of shutdown, they're releasing that state of shutdown and they're ready to talk. And with the six of wands here, this person is ready to move forward with you successfully. Okay, this person sees uh, a lot of potential, a lot of growth with you. They want to give this relationship public recognition. Probably they want to introduce you to their family, etc. But yeah, they definitely see a lot of success with you. Okay, moving forward. What is this moon in reverse? Why is the moon in reverse here? Why is the moon in reverse here? Why is the moon in reverse here? Why is the moon in reverse? <laughs> We have the Eight of Cups and the Death in Reverse again. This person is not moving on. If you thought this person was moving on and this person was being very cold and detached, like I said, okay, like I said, that's just how this person operates, okay? So I'm assuming that this person, this can be someone who doesn't, again, withholds information, okay? This person is not the best person when it comes to expressing their feelings. If you're dealing with the King of Swords, the worst person okay this is someone who will not be able to show you their emotions okay that's one of the reasons why you probably thought on your mind is the six of wands in reverse where you thought that something was not moving forward and something was just a failure okay but yeah with the moon in reverse what is going to be revealed is that this person is returning back to you okay if either they cannot completely move on from you or then they try to move on but they couldn't okay they couldn't get away from this relationship they're going nowhere and with the death and reverse here this is someone coming back from your past okay with the death and reverse here they're resisting an ending they don't want this to end they don't want this to end with the two of cups and reverse here yes this could have things could have ended here but they don't want things to end okay they definitely don't want things to end they're coming back someone from your past is coming back and the secret is going to be revealed that they love you very, very much. Okay. And they want to try this again. But you're going to be very, very guarded here with the nine of wands here. You're very guarded. Clarify the king. <coughs> Clarify the king of pentacles. Clarify the king of pentacles. Clarify the king of pentacles. For the king of pentacles, why is the king of pentacles? Whoa, too many cards. Okay, so we have the seven of swords in reverse. You do have the same card, and we have the empress in reverse here. Okay, so I'm assuming that you could have given in too much into this relationship to a point of exhaustion. Okay, you probably forget to love yourself. You forgot to take care of yourself and you gave this this relationship utmost importance, okay? You were feeding this connection, you were nurturing the, this connection to a point where you almost thought like, you know what, like what about me? If everything's about you, then what about me? And with the seven of swords in reverse here, I feel you too feel guilty about something, okay? 
you are also wanting to return to this person okay and with the king of pentacles here i think that with king of pentacles you are wanting to offer this commitment to this person but i think with the king of pentacles here, you could have want to um have a family with this person okay and it's almost like if they were avoiding you you are also avoiding this okay because you both have the seven of swords in reverse here but with the empress in reverse here, i think you stop feeling the connection okay and you just started focusing on yourself okay and uh, you're feeling guilty and probably now you want to come in and offer this commitment to this person what is the seven of swords in reverse here what is the seven of swords in reverse We have the King of Cups in reverse and the Moon. Okay, so yes, again, this person is holding back with the Moon here. This person has a lot of emotions for you, okay? But along with that, they have a lot of fears, a lot of stress and anxiety that is surrounding this uh, relationship, okay? And with the King of Cups in reverse here, because this person is holding a, holding so much fear of the unknown, with the King of Cups in reverse here, this person could have been emotionally very, very unavailable to you, okay? But now I feel they're feeling very, very guilty and they want to come towards you. They don't want to hold back anymore. They don't want to keep things hidden anymore, okay? This, everything's going to be out on the table, okay? And you're just going to be very, very surprised that this person actually has a lot of love for you, okay? And they're going nowhere. Maybe this person could have told you that they're moving on, etc. But seriously, that's a big lie, okay? They're going nowhere. Apply for the Six of Wands in reverse. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse here? Yeah. See, they were holding back, you were holding back. We have the strength here with the Queen of Wands in reverse. You are super, super, super passionate about this person, Leo. But because but you have lost your interest and you're not taking action towards this person. Because Queen of Wands in reverse here is a queen of action. But when she's in the reverse, she's just not taking action. You're very, very laid back. And with the strength here, I feel you're putting in your entire effort in holding back from this person, okay? And that's why it's showing us the challenge here that there is faith in this connection. There is hope in this connection. But... But if you want to make this connection work out, it's going to be a very divine connection. It's going to happen at the right time. When the strength and reverse it, you'll have to stop holding back. Okay. You'll have to stop holding back. You'll have to give in to the situation. You'll have to let, stop the resistance. Okay. You'll have to let the universe do its thing. Where's the nine of wands in reverse? Why is the nine of wands in reverse? So the connection that's on your mind, which is not moving forward, is because you're the one who's holding back. You or them, whoever's doing this. But someone's holding back very, very strong, okay? Very, very strongly. They're putting in all their entire strength in holding back, okay? And that's why the other person probably feels that you're losing interest and you're losing passion in this relationship. And that's why things are not moving forward. What is the nine of wands and reverse? We have the two of pentacles in reverse and the six of pentacles. Okay, So you could have been moving back and forth with this decision, okay, of moving forward with them or probably even offering a commitment to this person. But I think you stopped juggling, you've made up your mind and with the six of pentacles here, I think that you want an equal give and take, okay? You want to show reciprocity in this relationship, you want a balanced relationship and you want to move forward. However, either you are very, very guarded, you're taking your own time, you're being very, very slow, towards this person or you feel that it's going to be a big fat pain in the ass to move through this person to go through this person because the nine of wands here this person is super guarded okay this person has their guards up they're going to be extremely super cautious about every step that you take towards them or you're going to be very cautious while you take any steps towards this person okay but you definitely want this equal give and take and you want to make this a very very balanced relationship okay why is the two of cups and reverses the overall energy? Why is the two of cups and reverses the overall energy? Why is two? So there could be a third party situation involved here with the three of pentacles in reverse here. You could have left a third party situation. You don't want to be party to a third party situation. However, with the page of cups here, you do have a lot of love here. And with the five of pentacles in reverse here, you're, this is someone who's wanting to return back to you. Okay. But I feel that, yes, there was a third party influence influencing your relationship. And that's why there was a breakup. And with the page of cups here, this person could be wanting to apologize to you. Okay. 
and return to you after they've been left out in the cold. You could have iced out this person. Okay, this person feels very lonely and they want to return back to you. I, I'm getting a lot of wanting to return back. They feel guilty. You know, even if it's not a third party situation, it could just be as simple as that. Like this person who is not looking for something very, very committed. Okay. I do see the two of cups here, which is yes, a relationship. That's emotional fulfillment. That's cups. Okay. I'm not seeing pentacles here. Okay. So probably that could have been one of the reasons why this person, because this person probably didn't want anything serious. Okay. Could be. And now probably they want something serious and now they're feeling guilty and now they want to finally reveal what their emotions are for you and they want to open up, all right? But you're on guard. You're definitely on guard. All right, Leo, I hope this reading resonates with you. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.